Welcome back to our channel. It's Nadia. It's Mallory. And this week we are doing, oh, March. Yeah. March favorites. Another month has basically gone by. That's, it's going by really fast. That's crazy. crazy. I remember January, like it was yesterday. Yeah. Summer is right around the corner. I and cannot wait. Yes. And if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you like these kind of videos. We do favorites videos every other month, so we have a better idea what to share with you guys. So our first favorites is fashion. For my first fashion, also I apologize. My hair is acting crazy. It's been raining today and it's like, poof, there it is. So that's what we're working with today. But my first favorites is this matte black Longchamp, I believe is the brand. I got it for Christmas, um, matte black tote. And I literally use it for everything. Using it for everything to carry my laptop, books, everything. This is looks so simple, but yet adds so much it's to so an pretty. outfit. And the quality, it is a bit pricey because it is designer, but the quality is like there. For my fashion favorite are these slides. I love these. These are like my new house shoes or any shoe to be honest. I wear these all the time. They're so comfortable and they're furry so that's awesome. Yeah. And I just really love them. The next thing that's my fashion favorites I actually took from my mom because she cleaned out her closet and um, I even took when she had it. But it's just, <laughs> I don't even know what size it is. It's probably, oh it's a large. That makes more sense. But um, I love it was big on her these. too, so um, that would explain like why it's kind of like a dress thing. But it's like um, a Nike black oversized hoodie, and it looks so good. But it's They're like really those good. traditional hoodies, like those vintage ones that everyone's spending a lot of money. But this was like normal back then, you know, like it was eight thousands. It's so. Also, I got this red hoodie. Is my it's mom's so nice. that I stole that she doesn't use anymore. And it's from Loft, and I freaking love it. It's, it's not just like the Nike one. It's not like. velvet. It's um. It's like a furry. It's like the inside of your you. hoodie, but yeah. on the outside. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Yeah. Even the inside is the inside like that. It's yeah, it is. Is it? Yeah, yeah. It is so nice. Um, it's it's red. It. It's adorable. I love it. My next fashion things that are kind of both in the same category is fitness, and our me and I use your headbands on. Yeah. Um, or Woo Woman, they come in a bunch of different colors. This one is just um, gray and black. And the reason we like these is because they stay in your hair a lot They're longer. really comfortable and they They're don't bit, crease your head. Yeah, either. they don't crease your hair and they get rid of your um, baby hairs. So after you're done working out and you have to go somewhere, you can rip out your headband and like you don't need hairspray like later yeah. on. Last but not least, from my fashion are these neckies. <laughs> and um, I recently got these. I'm obsessed. Very like, comfortable. They're like a neutral color. One, something neutral. But bam, a pop of neon yellow, green-ish, you know. And they're they're awesome. They're made, I use them mainly for cardio. But they are made for running. It's kind of like that socks um, look, but wear sock. <laughs> it's not like a built-in. Yeah, that'd be gross. But oh, yeah, still wear a sock. For my next fashion favorite is Sorry if it's like, I squashed it for a second. Um, it's this little backpack and it's a little, and it comes with it. But it's um, from Coach. I love it and it's so good for like just running errands, traveling, everything. Yeah, it's really nice. It's like, it's a, basically a purse, but on your back. Yeah, if you don't like and purses, I love it's it. great. It just, I don't know, I just love it. You're not holding it, it's like on you, behind you. Yeah. You can hold stuff with your hands. Love it. And next is scrunchies. I know you're probably like, ew, what the heck? Scrunchies? They look good. But they, I like them. I like to wear them, especially on like when I'm at the house and stuff, because they don't leave creases in your head. Yeah. And I don't know, they're just like very comfortable and they don't give me a headache and stuff like that because I always have my hair up just because I want to get on my face. For our next category is beauty. So to start off with beauty, I have three products, not as much as last time, I feel like we've shown a lot of our beauty products repeatedly in a lot of videos. Um, first one, this I think this was in a round time saying get ready with me. It's this Urban Decay Naked Skin um, Weightless Concealer. And we're in the shade Light Warm. And the reason I like this is because since the seasons are getting warmer, you don't want a thick foundation or concealer, especially if it's kind of like right in the middle. It's not too thin, but it's not yeah. too thick. It's very lightweight, so like you, you don't feel cakey during the day. It's not melting off because it's getting warmer outside. So this is great. And next is this Lush Rosy Cheeks 
fresh face mask and the reason I really like this is because like in no matter what season I have a problem with keeping moisture in my skin without it being oily your and skin's like oily but like ashy it's weird I know and it's, it's like, like it's really weird it's it's messed up basically and it's very sensitive so I really like this because it smooths my skin and like when I take it off my face looks like a baby's butt it's like refresh the colors back into it the moisture's back into it um it, like my skin's not irritated from it I really like this for my beauty project is the BB seaweed love this this is so great I literally got like um like a laser thing that we do for our face and my eyebrows done and I came home and I put this on it calmed my face it like looked like it was yeah. healthy and glowy and like it helps with my acne it just oh I love it it calms everything down and helps with pores yes I feel like. and it's from Lush and my last beauty product is this homemade moisturizer that you'll see later I just hit my hair <laughs> you'll see later on um my mom's friend Macy um like basically bakes gluten-free foods and so she oh sends it to us and it's amazing I'm not really sure if she only does it for a few people but if she doesn't I'll leave like a website or whatever link down below and if she only does only for a few people like a side job type thing I'll see if I can get the recipe so you guys can like recreate it but she just apparently she does like some skincare stuff and she sent us this moisturizer and it says cream for a queen well <laughs> and i'm obsessed with it because it's like lavender scent. i like the last so moisturizer good. that we showed you the origin one is our go-to and i think that's great to put on before makeup or if you're going every out, day for sure because this is more of a thick one like you you know it's thick. yeah so this is it's good great. for like when you're at the house healing yeah. your face this is great at night because i always get redness around here and my skin it just has a problem keeping moisture in and this like homemade moisturizer saved my life it like like it's a beautiful it like, like your canvas really for me. Like yeah, like rehealed it. Next category is food. For my food, I have these power balls, and these are so good. I loosely have one and a half yeah. of another one in the morning, like before I work out, after I try to eat after. I work out just because I feel better, but mm -hmm. sometimes you kind of need like the extra boost mm -hmm. when I work out, which for me because I get lightheaded really easy. So these are great. Like um, our friend, our, our mom's our friend, friend makes these, and um, I don't like you can probably make dupes like little power balls and stuff. There's probably all kinds of stuff on Pinterest. Yes. And for my food, I ba Macy makes these also. They're cut. I remember growing up with these too. It's like rice crispy treat. I guess, yeah. yeah. With peanut butter instead of like, um, whatever that white sticky stuff is. Um, oh, marshmallow. Uh, marshmallow. <laughs> um, it's peanut butter and then the top is chocolate. And it's I don't know if it's so a rice crispy treat. I think it might be nuts or something That's healthier not, than that. But yeah. it's kind of like But that. it's gluten free and which is great because we get bloated real quick. So if you want like um, a dessert or yeah, I would say dessert that does it that's not as bad for you this is a really good dupe and last but not least for food are these banned simply delicious gluten free those waffles. are good i try not to eat those just so personally because i love waffle solving like yeah. the whole box but they're so good these waffles with almond butter on them mm. oh and whipped cream so uh, i know that's cream whipped cream isn't good for you but like whipped cream on like pancakes or waffles it's so good best combination really? ever yeah, it's like, like that. Just, oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's like dessert. It's mm. but this combination together is the bomb. Not calm. So good with maple syrup, Canadian maple syrup. Yes. Mm. Our next category is music. For me, music. I haven't really found anything that I'm really like digging into really? or like that. Yeah, I haven't really found a anything lot. for a while. I was like, Ish. it kind of, it's kind of depressing because I always rely on music on a lot of my mood swings and stuff. Mm -hmm. So if you guys have any like ideas of like good artists, good songs, or whatever, just leave a comment down below because I'd be love to know what you guys listen to. For my music, I've been obsessed with Lord Green Oh, Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, I've been obsessed with obsessed that one too. Sounds good. Lord's music. I do my makeup in somebody else's car. We ordered and liability from Lord. It's really sad, but it's really good. <laughs> like I love it. Baby. 
Baby really hurt me, crying in the taxi He don't wanna know me, says he made the big mistake of dancing in my store And the last song that I love is Bridget Mendelor's song I don't know who she collabed with, collabed with But it's Temperamental Love oh, that's her always, song. I always like hearing you listening to that Our next category is movies and TV. So for movies, hands down, um, Logan was a really good. Movie. Oh, okay, okay, it was so. so I don't even want to talk about like, it. I don't even want to talk about it. It made me. I kind of wanted to cry. I didn't want it to end. You know what I mean? And now like we know how the X Men, X -Men ends. Like the whole. I feel I like the I feel like how they died could have been a little bit better. He, uh, yeah, he died so like to me like he died yeah. so simple like he could have died like that so many other times. Yeah. But and the, but Charles Xavier. Too, yeah, like, what? like why is he died so simple too? I was like, well, not so simple like his story and stuff. But like, like but for all the things they've been like, through. Yeah, for all the things they've been through, it's like. What? But it was super good. I would definitely recommend it. But the next thing that we love is Beauty and the Beast. Yes. I'm not gonna lie. No hate. But on the trailer, I was a little bit skeptical. I was like, why is Emma? I love Emma. I'm Watson. always skeptical because she's my favorite princess. I love Emma Watson. And Belle is my favorite princess of all freaking time. And I still was like, why is Emma Watson Belle? Why? Like, I was a little skeptical of the whole thing. Then I watched it. I was like, oh, I Best love it ever. ever. Well, at first, it's kind of weird. I'm like, Hermione, what? Like, yeah. so I grew up with her powers, and I'm just like, what? But yeah. I got used to it, like five minutes in. I'm like, okay, yeah. you go, girl. I like this. <laughs> Our favorite YouTubers lately, I've been loving Alicia Marie vlogs of mm -hmm. Sess and her sisters too. I've been liking Crystal. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. Wim, I love her. Her like Fashion Week videos on points. Um, especially when she teams up with Drew and Scott, like, <laughs> goals. I love Drew and Scott. <laughs> to the nines in the lineup are, like, obviously my yes, I like go to. Alex Simono, I'm, I, I hope Ooh, yeah, I'm pronouncing it right. Um, your main channels are popping right now, and so like are your her. vlogs. She's um, so adorable. Not the one with, not the Dan and Alex one, but, like, Alex vlogs. Um, those are really good. They're really long. I like to do that when I'm getting ready in the morning, watch the long ones. And Song of Style. I just found her. She is really good. I've been loving her Dolce Gabbana vlog. It was just amazing. Now for outfits, we kind of combine this to our blog. If you want to see our favorite outfits of the month, go check out our blog at Nutty Mallory. Almost at slash YouTube.com. Nutty Mallory.com and check out our favorite outfits of the month. And it will be linked down below for you guys. We will see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.